The next video I've got coming will be the Phantom Spirit 120 versus the PLS Assassin 120. So make sure you subscribe for that. Right then guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it's the AXP 120X 67 white ARGB low profile air cooler from Thermite. I know, it's a mouthful. It's a low profile air cooler and it's versus the S1 100 also low profile air cooler but before we get into the benchmarks and stuff what i want to do is show you what they look like and so forth okay so this is the differences between both air coolers as you can see the overall design is very similar except this is a very thin low profile air cooler with a very thin 120 where this is more of a standard sized 120 millimeter air, uh, air cooler but instead of it being this basic it's like that so it's a low profile air cooler now i've got benchmarks but these two are so similar now of course they don't look similar but when you look at the actual fin stack on the back now yeah there are some differences but you can see that this is more of a, a down like a cut down version of this got the same mounting bracket they got the same amount of heat pipes yes they have six heat pipes on each one obviously is white one comes with an rgb fan and of course the other then comes with that so let's get straight into the benchmarks because believe it or not there is a huge difference well i can't really say huge but there's definitely a difference so let's get to those benchmarks Okay, so the S1 100 CPU cooler from Thermrite, that one is next. And in terms of thermals for Cinebench R23, I did an idle at 33 Celsius. The max was a 67 Celsius. Ada 64, the idles were 31 Celsius. The max was a 62. Blender Classroom, the idles were 33 Celsius. The max was a 63. Blender BMW, idles are 34, and the max was a 63 Celsius. Okay then, for the AXP120 white ARGB low profile air cooler from Thermrite. Now, the Cinebench run for that was Cinebench R23, the idles are 31 Celsius, and the max was a 69 Celsius. Nice. The Ada64 run was idle at 33, max at 65 Celsius. Blender Classroom, idle 34, max 65. Blender BMW, idle 35 Celsius, max 66 Celsius. Okay then, so is there much of a difference? Well, of course there is. Now, of course, because the AXP120 is a lot smaller in fin density as well as a smaller, thinner fan, of course, it's going to have a complete difference in thermals. Now, the S1, of course, is a bigger fin stack the heat pipes look thicker the fan is a lot white a lot thicker as well it's a full size 120 mil uh, 120 mil fan so of course but with cinebench r23 there was a two degree difference in both tests Ada 64 there was a another there was a three celsius difference blend the classroom there was a two celsius difference Blend, uh, blender BMW that was a three de degree difference there now of course that isn't the end all and be all but of course when it comes to these type of CPU coolers because they're very small they're not generally made for big towers they're generally made for ITX PC builds now do I think they're okay well I've reviewed both but this video is both of them head to head because they are so similar when it comes to the design of course now there's one thing i will say that it really does uh, put both of them apart from each other now the axp 120 is rather quiet at full 1500 rpm very quiet but the s1 100 at full 2000 rpm it is very very loud now, of course, that is due to the fact that the fin density is bigger as well as the fan is a lot bigger. So there is a lot more air to move and it will obviously cause more noise. 
but overall both are very good options to buy now i've done this video because both videos that i did the reviews on are doing very well so i want to do a comparison video between the both the next video i've got coming will be the phantom spirit 120 versus the pls assassin 120 so make sure you subscribe for that now of course this is richard from welsh tech i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it gives you the the option that it will give you a decisive decision to make if you were looking at both of course one's louder the other is a lot thinner so the temperatures are going to be a difference but then again it's only a three degree difference that was the highest degree difference i saw overall they're still both good coolers but of course if you're going for silence go for the axp that's a lot quieter so yeah look I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And of course, as always, this is Richard from Welshie Tech. Goodbye.